Hello, Min. Good evening. Good evening, Min. Okay. Okay, today, Min, we're going to have our regular test. We're going to have our regular test today. Okay, I will share the screen for our regular test. Okay. Okay. So mean like before we have three listening, reading and writing and speaking. Okay. So this is your third regular test under pet. Okay. Listen carefully. There are seven questions. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. What is the man going to buy? Is everything ready for the holiday? I'm just going shopping. I must get those pills I take when I feel travel sick. Do we need anything else at the chemist's? We forgot the toothpaste last time. I've got that. I haven't got any sunglasses, but I can borrow yours, can't I? And I'll get something to read at the airport. Right. Now listen again. Is everything ready for the holiday? I'm just going shopping. I must get those pills I take when I feel travel sick. Do we need anything else at the chemist's? We forgot the toothpaste last time. I've got that. I haven't got any sunglasses, but I can borrow yours, can't I? And I'll get something to read at the airport. Right. Two. Which dress is Kate talking about? Oh, Mum, this dress is still dirty. It can't be, Kate. I've only just washed it. Well, it is. The mark on the collar has gone, but there's still a small one here. Look, it's at the front, just below the button. It's where I spilt some coke last week. Now listen again. Oh, Mum, this dress is still dirty. It can't be, Kate. I've only just washed it. Well, it is. The mark on the collar has gone, but there's still a small one here. Look, it's at the front, just below the button. It's where I spilt some coke last week. Okay, mean what is the answer number one? What's the answer for number one mean? Number one is uh, C. Okay, number two, about the dress of Kate. What is the dress of Kate? Um, two, number two. We C. C. Okay, please answer. Three. When will Jane meet them? Hi, it's Pete here. Jane left a message to say she can't meet yes, us I at mean, 8 o'clock as planned because her bus doesn't get in till 8.15 and it'll take her 30 minutes to get from the centre of town. I told her the table's actually booked for 8.45, so that would be fine. And... Lovely. Okay. We'll see her then. Hi, it's Pete here. Jane left a message to say she can't meet us at 8 o'clock as planned 
because her bus doesn't get in till 8.15 and it'll take her 30 minutes to get from the centre of town. I told her the table's actually booked for 8.45, so that would be fine. And we'll see her then. Now listen again. Hi, it's Pete here. Jane left a message to say she can't meet us at 8 o'clock as planned because her bus doesn't get in till 8.15 and it'll take her 30 minutes to get from the centre of town. I told her the table's actually booked for 8.45, so that would be fine. And we'll see her then. Four. Which morning activity is for beginners? At 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, there will be swimming lessons at both intermediate and beginner level. Then there will be volleyball practice at 11.30 for all those of you who are already in one of the teams. Also in the morning, for those of you who already know how to sail, there's a chance to do some practice on your own. There will be lessons in both sailing and windsurfing for beginners after lunch. Now listen again. At 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, there will be swimming lessons at both intermediate and beginner level. Then there will be volleyball practice at 11.30 for all those of you who are already in one of the teams. Also in the morning, for those of you who already know how to sail, there's a chance to do some practice on your own. There will be lessons in both sailing and windsurfing for beginners after lunch. Okay, what's the answer mean for three and four? Number three mean, what's your answer? Number three is uh, B. Letter B, four. Number four is? Four is uh, A. Letter A. Okay. Five. Which painting does the woman decide to buy? They're all nice, but you see a lot of flowers everywhere these days, don't you? So that wouldn't be my choice. The same goes for animals, actually. Although I do quite like the one of the horses. So it looks like it'll have to be the one with the boats. It will be a change from that bowl of fruit I've had on the wall all these years anyway. Now listen again. They're all nice, but you see a lot of flowers everywhere these days, don't you? So that wouldn't be my choice. The same goes for animals, actually. Although I do quite like the one of the horses. So it looks like it'll have to be the one with the boats. It will be a change from that bowl of fruit I've had on the wall all these years anyway. Six. What is the man selling? And this is the latest model by MacPoint. You'll find it's even quicker at doing your washing up and needs less water. And it's very easy to use, as easy as turning on your shower. Now listen again. And this is the latest model by MacPoint. You'll find it's even quicker at doing your washing up and needs less water. And it's very easy to use, as easy as turning on your shower. Seven. What is the weather forecast for tomorrow? 
It's been typical spring weather today, sunshine and showers. The next 24 hours should be dry but cloudy. Things look better for the next week with Monday being a fine sunny day and the following day mild but windy. Now listen again. It's been typical spring weather today, sunshine and showers. The next 24 hours should be dry but cloudy. Things look better for the next week with Monday being a fine sunny day and the following day mild but windy. That is the end of part one. Mean, what's the answer for number five? Number five is uh, A. A. Number six? Uh, uh, number six is C. Number seven? Number seven is A. A. Okay, so look at the six sentences for this part. You will answer me yes or no. A for yes, B for no. You will hear a conversation between a girl, Lisa, and a boy, Ben, about holidays. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part 4. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Hi, Ben. Only one more week at college and then the summer holidays begin. Great, isn't it? I don't know. It might get a bit boring. I don't think I've got enough money to go anywhere nice for a holiday this year. It would be nice to have lots of money to spend, but a good holiday doesn't have to be expensive. Oh, yes, it does. The best holiday I ever had was a few years ago, when I went to Greece. I wanted to fly off somewhere hot and lie on the beach and go swimming. Yes, well, I can't afford to do that either. So, what are you doing this summer? I'm going on a walking holiday in Scotland with some friends. We went last year and we really enjoyed it. We walked all day and spent the nights in youth hostels. Why don't you come with us? We're going for two weeks. It won't cost much, and you'll come home feeling really relaxed and fit. Mm, I'm not sure. Walking all day sounds like hard work to me. And surely you're not hoping for lots of sunshine in Scotland. <laughs> it did rain a bit last year, but most of the time it was sunny. Anyway, it's not good walking in the heat. You have to stop all the time to rest and have drinks. Well, I like the sun. And I like to stay in comfortable hotels, not youth hostels. But they are comfortable. They're basic, and the food's often not very good, but they're very clean and cheap. In fact, I prefer them to hotels because the people are always so friendly. Mm, maybe. Look, Lisa, thanks a lot for asking me, but I think I'll just stay home and get bored. Now listen again. Hi, Ben. Only one more week at college and then the summer holidays begin. Great, isn't it? I don't know. It might get a bit boring. I don't think I've got enough money to go anywhere nice for a holiday this year. It would 
be nice to have lots of money to spend, but a good holiday doesn't have to be expensive. Oh, yes, it does. The best holiday I ever had was a few years ago when I went to Greece. I wanted to fly off somewhere hot and lie on the beach and go swimming. Yes, well, I can't afford to do that either. So what are you doing this summer? I'm going on a walking holiday in Scotland with some friends. We went last year and we really enjoyed it. We walked all day and spent the nights in youth hostels. Why don't you come with us? We're going for two weeks. It won't cost much and you'll come home feeling really relaxed and fit. Mm, I'm not sure. Walking all day sounds like hard work to me. And surely you're not hoping for lots of sunshine in Scotland. <laughs> it did rain a bit last year, but most of the time it was sunny. Anyway, it's not good walking in the heat. You have to stop all the time to rest and have drinks. Well, I like the sun. And I like to stay in comfortable hotels, not youth hostels. But they are comfortable. They're basic, and the food's often not very good, but they're very clean and cheap. In fact, I prefer them to hotels because the people are always so friendly. Hmm, maybe. Look, Lisa, thanks a lot for asking me, but I think I'll just stay home and get bored. Okay, Min, what is the answer for number one? That is the end of part four. What's the answer for number one, Min? Number yes one or no? A... You now Two. have six minutes to check and... Two. B. Okay, three. Two is B. Two. Four. Four is four is A. Okay, A. Five. Five is B. Six. Six is B. Okay, let's move. Okay, we have here reading and writing. Okay. Okay, what is this? What is the answer? Okay, what is your answer mean? C, B, or C? Okay, number two, you have answer number two. Okay, number two mean answer, please. Number two 
number two is uh, C. Okay, number three, please. Me, number three, mean. Uh, number two and three, three. please. What's the answer? Number three, say. Number, number, three, say. number two is? Number three, say. Okay, three. Okay. This one. This label gives advice. What? Four and five. Okay, four and five. Gillian, air ko na din. Sira po tahan. Okay, number four, mean what is your answer? Voice B five. Five is C. Okay, please read this and then answer one, two, three first. Okay, you tell me, mean, if you are done, and I will ask you a question.
Okay, done, Min. Okay, what is your answer for number one? Number one is? Number one is uh, B. Okay. Number two? Number one is B. Number two? One is B, two is? I. Okay. Three. Three. D. Okay, let us have here that speaking. Okay. Now we mean describe people or places saying people, things, and what they're doing. Okay, can you first describe in the first picture? Please describe in the first picture. In here, this one. Okay, can you please describe me? This is picture number one and picture number two. Please describe and what they are doing. First picture. Yes. Uh, family is, uh, a family is eating their lunch. Okay. Second picture. Uh, there's a there there is no there are two people uh feeding their pet okay how about the second picture they are uh, they are feeding the pet okay they are feeding the pet they are feeding the pet okay again what else that's all okay next Okay, let us talk about what you like to drink and what your meals and what you drink at other times of the day. Okay, so we have here, talk about what you like to drink with your meals and what you drink at all at other times of the day. You talk about what you drink, with what, what would you like to drink with your meals? What, what we are, uh, Mean, what do you think? Uh, uh, my, I want to drink tea or milk or water. Okay, talk about what you drink at other times aside from water. What do you aside from water? Talk about what you drink at other times aside from water. At other times, I yeah. 
drink juice, uh, milk, or uh, yogurt. Okay, another. Talk about when you drink your favorite juice. You talk about when you drink your favorite juice. What did you feel? You talk about what you drink or when you drink, what did you feel mean? You feel? Oh, can you say again? Okay. You talk about when you drink the juice. Example, your favorite juice is orange. Please talk about orange, the one you drink. Uh, it's, it has uh, a lot of benefit. It has a vitamin and it is very delicious. Okay, it's very delicious. Last one. You talk about how many times you drink per day. How many? You talk about how many times you drink per day. It is how many times did you drink juice? Uh, once a day. Okay, just once a day only, teacher. Not that too many because too many makes your body, of course, unhealthy. Okay, man, we are done with our test. Okay, it's just too easy. So I will be seeing you on the next class, okay? Okay, Min, thank you. I will just send the result in Zalo and I will tell it to you. Okay, bye-bye, Min. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Okay.